Welcome back to another Bitcoin update. Now you guys know that I only make these whenever I think something big is going to happen. So quite obviously, if you guys have been watching Bitcoin, then you probably know that we're in a pretty important point right now. So today I'm going to go over where I think Bitcoin is going to be headed. But before I get into the video, I do just want to say that this is not financial advice. This is purely for entertainment purposes only. I highly recommend you formulate your own opinion based on your own research after watching this video. But anyways, guys, let's get right into the video. So before I get into the actual analysis on Bitcoin and where I think it's going to be headed, there were just a few things I wanted to point out as some people have been asking me. So some people have been asking me, you know, I want to use my bot on Bitcoin and I don't want to use it on longer time frames. Now, there are a few issues with that since shorter time frames right now, if you guys do see here on Bitcoin, on Coinbase specifically, uh, but it's really like this in all exchanges. Bitcoin is extremely unpredictable when it comes to how its candlesticks are forming right now on short time frames. So I highly recommend if anyone is still automated trading uh, Bitcoin in any way, whether that be a bot, a script, uh, anything in general, I highly recommend using a longer time frame, anything above one hour in order for your bot to take advantage of the swings. 15 minutes or 30 minutes or something like that is just not feasible in this market because of how Bitcoin is right now. Uh, but aside from that, Let's get into Bitcoin and looking at how it is right now. So as you guys can see, we are at the triple bottom for the long term trend on Bitcoin. Now, this is particularly big because this was the first point. This was the all time low after the all time high. So that's sort of important. Uh, the triple bottom can be an indicator of a small push back up. Um, but personally, the current price right now for me is a no trade zone, meaning I have not been trading uh, these past few weeks in this little zone right here, as it has been really, really uncertain as to where the market's going to be going. However, we have formed this little resistance and downtrend right here uh, that could be possibly broken over the next few days. I do think if we bounce off of this uh, support, then we could certainly break this and then see a little you know tick back up to maybe 12,000. Now that's something that some people were pointing out here. If you do actually look at the historical data from the last Bitcoin dump, I know I always look at this, uh, but as you can see here, the third time it retested the major support, you did see this very, very uncertain period. I would have never traded in this area right here because you never know where it's gonna go. Um, but overall, we did see this third retest of the support, and then we saw this retest of the higher low after the all-time high. So this is particularly interesting to me, as it does look very similar to where we are at right now. This is the third retest of the major support, and if we do see a breakout upwards, then we could see a retest of the second major uh, resistance on the long-term Bitcoin. So if we do break this line right here, I would certainly be longing if we do get above somewhere around 8,000. So if we break this downtrend and then we break maybe 8,000 and 9,000 for sure, then I think we'd be going up to 12,000. Um, but aside from that, if we do break the support, then I think we could be going into the cycle of the long-term downtrend here on Bitcoin, meaning Bitcoin would be in this uh, zone sort of downwards, maybe sideways a little bit, I think for around two to three months. So hopefully by the end of the summer, we could see another bullish Bitcoin where it finally starts to wick back up. So basically the major thing you want to look for if we do break this support here, uh, personally, I would not short immediately. I think it's going to be very high risk. There's going to be a lot of people uh, profit taking from the initial fall. So I would definitely not recommend trading in this current market. Um, so I think if we did break this, we would have to get below 5,800. I know that actually on this initial drop, I was trading it and I think it really got down to around 5,600. So I think the $5,000 range in general is very high risk as we do see a lot of institutional investors and mom and pop investors who are looking to buy in that zone. So this zone right here for me between 6,000 and you know, the end of 5,000 for me is a no trade zone. I'm not looking to make any profit off this short. I think it's way too risky. We're going to see a high area of volatility and probably volume. Uh, so personally, that's a no trade zone. So in the case that we do break the support, you're going to go into the no trade zone. Once again, I don't recommend you trade here. And then I think we're going to be staying in this channel of around 5,000 and 
3,200. I think these supports right here, the support and resistance that was previously on Bitcoin will be our channel for the final reversal that we do see on Bitcoin. So personally, what am I going to be looking for? I'm going to be looking for either a breaking of this downtrend and then a move up to 12,000 and then we see the longer term downtrend or I'm going to be looking for the breaking of this support when it would then move into this zone, be very uncertain and then eventually move into my trade zone right here where I would be looking for an entry around 3,500, 3,200 as a long term entry on Bitcoin until Bitcoin turns bullish again. So that's my plan on Bitcoin here. Uh, I thought that was, you know, very, very important as this very much determines the future of Bitcoin. Uh, hopefully we still see more institutional investors coming in Bitcoin. I'm very excited to see uh, where these next few months lead us. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. A quick update. I actually will be traveling for the next two weeks. So I have pre-recorded a few videos, uh, but that's why there's going to be a little lack of videos. I will upload quite a bit. I'm going to try to upload every two or three days uh, with the pre-made videos I already recorded, which are actually really interesting. So I highly recommend you guys watch those, but I just thought it would be important that you guys know that. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave your thoughts down in the description down below. Hopefully we can start a discussion. Also make sure to join my Telegram group and see you guys in the next video.